Okay guys, today we're going to walk through how to analyze your funnel using heat maps and session recordings. There are many ways to analyze a funnel. Some people like using a um, quantity based analysis. So for this, we can use uh, Google Analytics. So this is an example of an account. This is a Google Analytics uh, demo account. And you can see we have a, an accumulation of data and we can analyze each step of the funnel that the user went through. So we can see cart abandonment, uh, how many people converted, how many people paid, and we can also break down based on device category, stuff like that. So this is a, a quantity-based analysis. And the other option which I want to cover today is quality-based analysis. And we are going to do this um, using heat maps and session recordings. So the tool which I'm using for heat maps and session recording is called Lucky Orange. Many people use Lucky Orange, especially Shopify store owners. And also another very uh, popular tool is called uh, Hotjar. The pricing of Lucky Orange is over here. So it's a, a usage-based pricing. So it depends how many visits uh, you have in your website. And it's also based on how many websites do you have. Um, just so you know, I'll have a, I'll share an affiliate link in the video description. Uh, I'm not sure if using the affiliate link is going to give you anything or it's just going to be uh, good for me. But uh, feel free to use it. Or if you want, uh, don't use it. Doesn't really matter. But anyway, so let's uh, let's see what I want to share with you today. So first thing is the heat map. A heat map. Um, here's an, by, by the way, this is the backend of Lucky Orange and you can see all the sessions, all the recording sessions of uh, users. I, I'll go deeper into this in a moment. But first of all, I want to share, I want to show you the heat map. So we have this heat map. Let's just see, remove this. And this is basically the homepage of Ecom X Factor. And as you can see here, using the heat map, I can see exactly how people interacted with my website. So I'm going to press here and I'm going to show background. And now I can see all these blue dots or people who clicked on different elements in my website. So for example, I can see here that people clicked on the schedule a call button and I can see that people clicked on the search bar. I'm just going to remove this so you see the page. So this is the page in general. This was me and my wife and now this is the heat map and basically what you can see you can see if people clicked on elements that they were not supposed to click so for example if people uh, if you have an image that is not clickable but you see a lot of people clicking on it so you can understand um, that it's uh, confusing so maybe you can make the this image clickable i mean add a link to the image or you can remove the image so many times for example in my store funnel i see that people clicked on like a secure checkout banner uh, you know the, the secure checkout banner in which you show like paypal visa mastercard etc so people click on this and then i realized that people maybe they were expecting to be directed to the checkout but they were they were not directed and this created friction and might have caused them to abandon the funnel so this is an important aspect of of uh, the heat map and another interesting thing to see in the heat map is you can see how so this is also another example so you can see where people clicked this is very interesting so where people clicked and then another interesting thing about the heat map is you can see uh, how deep did people scroll in your web page so when it's red uh, it means that all of the people that landed of, on the page they saw this, uh, this, uh, these elements and as you go down you see lucky orange tells me how many people reach this point in the page so if you have very long vsl and let's say you believe that you have very important elements really low in the page uh, so you might see that people are not getting there uh, to that uh, point in the page so this means you might reconsider reordering the page uh, the elements putting for example the reviews in a higher point in the page because the reviews are very important obviously you need to test this but this is a great tool that shows you exactly how how low did people scroll in your page especially if you have lo very long uh, long form pages so as you can see to this point from this point onwards downwards people only 50 percent of the people uh, went down so this also, as I said, uh, it gives you a lot of general idea in regards to the 
customer's behavior in your uh, web store or in the specific page. So this is one thing. And there is also uh, an ability to see analytics in regards to a specific element, so a specific form. So for example, as you can see, um, a lot, of, lot, of, lot of people are clicking on uh, this form, but you can see the engagement. Only one person engaged with this uh, search bar and gives you like data and um, this specific isn't such a good example because it's the home page and this is just a, a search bar but uh, just to the, just so you'll get an understanding of how uh, the form uh, um, feature looks like so this is uh, the heat map which i use uh, as i said especially when i'm tweaking something in my website if i'm launching a new product if i'm doing uh, something a, a technical change uh, on in my back end let's say i'm I'm changing uh, the size of the images or I'm removing some app. So I'm going to take a look at the heat map and, and see that there, ain't, uh, there, uh, there are not any errors and people are not uh, encountering any friction. So this is the heat map. And the other thing that I wanted to show you is the recording. So over here, let's take me back here. So over here, I can see uh, all the session recordings of users in my Ecomex Factor website. And I can uh, sort them by the number of pages someone viewed, uh, how long did they spend in my website, where did they land and where did they exit. So for example, you might find it interesting to see um, people who had long interactions. So you can sort by the page and let's take this guy for example. So it's someone that was I uh, landed on my uh, on the Ecomex Factor website for the first time. He's from Italy. Um, we don't know the source. It's, it's a di direct link. It's not from Google or it's not from Facebook. And we're going to hit the play button and we'll see the session. You can see exactly how the customer interacted in, in my website. So this is, he went to the blog. Let's, let's take a different example because I think it, it's someone from my team that I'm not aware of. Okay, so this guy came from Google. Um, let's see, this guy was on eight pages and he spent two minutes. So let's see. Okay, so by the way, you can play put the playback speed uh, faster. And this, this also <laughs> saves time for you when you analyze. So I like doing skip ideal activity. So if someone is reading, I don't want to waste time waiting for him to read. Now I can see exactly how, how he spent his time in my website. So he clicked on the split method program, which we are offering. And then he started reading and then the form apparently looked too long for him. So he switched to the Ecomex Factor podcast and now he didn't like that or wasn't interested so we went to the blog he wasn't interested in the blog and then he abandoned the page or he moved on to a different blog post so this is just an example and obviously um i'm not showing you the back end of my stores because i'm not sharing my stores in these videos but you can see how powerful this is because if someone is landing on uh, your website so let's say in your product page and then he goes to the cart abandonment eh, i mean to the cart page and then he goes back to the product page and you can see that he's taking a look at, at the images and then he goes down and reads the testimonials and then he goes up and sees the size chart and then he goes down again to read more testimonials and then he goes to the faq and here is the faq and then from the FAQ, he goes back to the product page. Then he goes back to the checkout and then he abandons the cart. And then, so it, it gives you an understanding of how the customer behaved in your website. And if you see this, these sort of patterns a lot, you can try and to improve your, your funnel. So for example, if I see that a lot of customers are going to the FAQ and I see that they are ideal, I mean, it seems like they are reading, um, let's say, a question about shipping times. So I need, I know I need to clarify something about the shipping times in my product page because once they land on my product page from the Facebook or Instagram ad, I don't want them to leave the product page, leave the funnel and go to the FAQ section. I mean, to the FAQ page because this deflects them from my goal and my goal is to make them buy. And I want them to buy a lot of time is going to be impulse based and emotion based. So if you start to overload them with information and they are going to look for answers in the FAQ page, um, this might um, lead to a decrease in your conversion rates. So based on this, uh, I use, I take a look in the recordings uh, about once a week or, or every other week. And I just choose a few interesting and long uh, periods of time of people who spent in my website and i'm going to take a look it's very fast you can you you can as i as i showed you you can multiply the speed by 10 you just take a look you see exactly how the customer behaved and you write down 
uh, in a note or in word or whatever if you saw anything if you got any idea in regards to anything that you can improve and this is especially important when you're just launching a product because when you're just launching a product and even if you're working with a checklist uh, and you made sure that you have all the important elements in your funnel and in your landing page sometimes um, things can go wrong maybe um, an element doesn't look well in mobile obviously you were supposed to check this but if you didn't check this or maybe you check this only in your mobile and you see that a lot of customers that are entering let's say from an iphone and the the display is off so you immediately understand and you can go and fix this so when i'm launching a new funnel or a new product i'm going to use a lucky orange more and i'm not going to start with very big budgets big uh, advertising budgets because i don't want to waste a lot of money if i'm not sure that the funnel is working and i'm going to analyze and use lucky orange at least uh, once a day just to make sure that everything uh, is fine obviously as soon as i start seeing sales so i can assume that everything is working correctly and there are not too many frictions but before i have any sales i'm going to use lucky orange very often just to make sure that there are not any any hiccups or any technical issues in my specific funnel. Mm, that's it for today, guys. This was a, a short, um, not so short, but uh, this was quite to the point uh, in regards to heat maps and session recordings. This is a very, very important uh, tool in your toolbox as a marketer. Um, maybe for beginners, it might seem like an expensive uh, software, but it's, it's uh, for me, in my opinion, it's not that expensive and it's also a no brainer because it gives you so many insights in regards to how the customers are, are behaving in your uh, web store. And if you want to be professional and really increase your conversion, so you should have a heat map and um, recording session uh, software installed and once you combine uh, these uh, type th this type of analysis uh, with the numbers that you're seeing in google analytics you have a lot of power a lot of data in regards to the customer's behaviors uh, in your store and checkout and this can be very powerful in order to optimize and increase the aov and conversion rates by the way this is kind of not related but it's also a um, uh, some uh, an interesting tab in the google uh, analytics in google analytics in which you can see the behavior flow of the customer so people who landed in your website this in red or people who dropped off and you can see from here from this specific page where did people go to so to youtube to google etc etc this is not such a good example because i'm using um the google analytics demo account and um, so as you can see here, it's not uh, quite obvious where are people going, um, but it, I highly suggest that you check out um, the, be the behavior flow tab in your behavior uh, tab in Google Analytics. Uh, that's it guys for today. If you have any questions regarding what I showed you today or analysis of your funnels, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the also and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified uh, as soon as we upload a, a new piece of content to our youtube channel bye bye guys have a nice day